Hello my friends and welcome to our first lesson for this year which is lateral fractions. Of course you know what's meant by fractions, numerator, denominator. So let's remember our lesson today is about lateral fractions, something new, new addition to fractions. So let's remember the ordinary numerical fractions. Observe this figure. We have two red balls and three blue balls. The fractions that represents the number of red balls is 2 over 5. We have two red balls out of five balls in total. So it is 2 over 5. The numerator is 2. It is the number of red balls. And the denominator is 5. It is the number of all balls. Some other examples. 7 over 8 minus 13 over 500 we have 6 over 25 we have 7 over minus 8 of course the minus we can remove it up so it is minus 7 over 8 and finally minus 6 over minus 25 of course we can cancel the minus with the minus now i want you to be alert to be a of these fractions the coming fractions are very dangerous observe their denominators the denominator in every in such fractions is zero these are very dangerous fractions we need to avoid them we need to skip them they are wrong fractions the denominator should be different from zero so try to avoid such fractions now what are the lateral fractions lateral fractions are fractions from the word letter letter is like x y a b if the fraction contain letters in the numerator or in the denominator then it is a lateral fraction let's have some example about fractions having letters in the numerator and in the denominator first example is minus 2c over 5d another example 7 over a another example 5k over 6 attention for the both first two fractions we have d and a in the denominator we need to make sure that these are different from 0 d and a should be different from 0 or otherwise we will obtain a very dangerous fractions these are wrong fractions. Now, let's simplify this fraction. Let's simplify this lateral fractions. Observe it well. We can simplify it. Of course, m should be different from 0. I can simplify the 7 and minus 21 upon dividing by 7. 7 and 21 both are divisible by 7. So the 7 will be removed. It is 1 and the 21 is simply 3 if we divide by 7. Now more simplification and it's better to remove the minus to up to the numerator another example minus 16 a 4 b 2 over minus 24 b a to the 4 I can remove the minus with the minus of course a and b should be different from 0 I will remove the minus the negative sign with the negative sign 16 and 24 both are divisible by 8 so I will divide 16 by 8 it become 2 and 24 by 8 it become 3 a to the exponent 4 and a to the exponent 4 will cancel each other and finally b squared and b the b in the denominator will be removed and we have only b above so it is 2b over 3 that's all and bye bye.